imagine this. It's Christmas morning. You run downstairs. You've got your one-piece pajamas on with a giant zipper and the bum flap. You look under the tree, and there's nothing but gift bags. Santa has screwed you over and has provided no wrapping paper whatsoever. Good morning, everybody. It's PC Pancake. Thank you for clicking. Today, I am walking my dog. I think I am getting a little bit less fat but I did have a McDonald's sausage biscuit for breakfast, and damn, they are good. They're on the cheap side of the menu, like $1.39 or something up here in Canada. They don't have egg or cheese, but who cares? It's a biscuit. It's a nice salty biscuit buttered with a hunk of sausage meat. It's got to be the best deal in town. Anyways, I had one. I wanted two, but, you know, I just had one. So I consider that a small victory. So today's topic that I wanted to talk to you about is should you wrap your gift or just toss it in a gift bag? And I want to find out what your guys' preference is. And now I know it's easy to toss it into a gift bag, but I wanted to flip the question around and to see if you really cared whether or not your gift was wrapped or not. I think that secretly, subconsciously, we all want our gifts to be wrapped in paper. This is because it's way more fun to unwrap something that's all wrapped up. You're like ripping and tearing, and ah, finally you catch a glimpse of, of what the gift might be, but oh wait, you can only see two letters, and you can't spell because you play video games all the time and you're an idiot. Just kidding. So then you have to keep unwrapping, and some people just unwrap it so nicely. They like cut the tape, they save the paper, and good for them. But that's not my style. I'm a shredder. If I had Wolverine claws, I would just kick the shit out of that wrapping paper. And then, you know, put it in the garbage. Wait, recycling. I hope that you guys take the time and forethought to wrap your gifts for your friends and family. I think this is especially important up until a certain age. Maybe 25, I don't know. Obviously for me it's important until I die. Every time somebody gives me a gift with a gift bag, I know they secretly don't love me anymore. Because there's usually one piece of tissue paper covering up the gift and boom, done. I can see what it is, and guess what? It's usually crap. They bought it on the way to my house. It's a gift card. Or, you know, it's a pair of size 10 slippers which don't fit me. Hi, ducks. How you doing? I usually go for a little dog walk in my neighborhood. There's a nice pond with a nice little trail. I live outside of the city now. It's awesome. So imagine this. It's Christmas morning. You run downstairs. You've got your one-piece pajamas on with a giant zipper and the bum flap. You've got your... Sl did I always say slippers? Anyways, you look under the tree and there's nothing but gift bags. Santa has screwed you over and has provided no wrapping paper whatsoever. Christmas would be over in like 10 minutes. You'd be like, tissue paper, yoink, tissue paper, yoink, tissue paper, yoink. Oh, what a disgrace that would be. Santa Claus would have to be fired, tarred and feathered, stoned and killed. So, I'm not sure exactly when you should stop using gift wrap paper. But guess what? Don't do it. As soon as you make the transition to, to gift bags, there's no going back. It is too easy. People just, they can't stop. Guess what, they're a dollar a bag. You can just pick whichever gift bag you want. Oh, guess what, that gift bag has Spider-Man on it. It's really cool. No, it's not, it's still stupid. So, wrap your gifts. No one's saying you have to wrap it with a bow. No one's saying you have to wrap it with that, uh, I don't know what you wrap that stuff around. It makes it all tied up and it's really indestructible. You can't break it with your fingers. Maybe it's ribbon, I don't know. Anyways, take the time to use wrapping paper. If you don't have wrapping paper, use the comics from the newspaper. Usually they're color. Usually, you know, there's a big page. So try it out. Let me know what you think in the comments section below 
or hit me up on Twitter. On Twitter, I am PC Pancakes. I don't know who took PC Pancake, but I'd like to punch him in the face. Until next time, bye.